Hey guys, as you can tell, today's video is a bit different. I wanted to share with you guys my favorite backpack of all time. This one, it is the Wanted Provoke. I have the new model in the 31 liters. They have a 21 liter, which is a bit too small, a light version, and a 41 liters. 31 is perfect for me. I also have their Wanted Tech Bag in the medium size. This was just purchased like last week and it is the perfect addition to my whole setup. That's why I wanted to make this video showing you guys how I pack my bag to make it the most efficient for someone that brings their gear every day and goes traveling from time to time. All right, let's start with the Wondered Tech Bag. As I said, this was the latest edition. I just got it last week. And as you can see, it is mounted to the outside of the Provo. That's the one really cool thing about this Tech Bag. I really like this. It saves up a lot of space. I can put bigger things like headphones and if you have space, obviously just use it as a normal tech bag, throw it in here, throw it in your luggage. But the, the last special feature is, you can take this out. Takes a bit of time to get this right. But it's extremely secure. Two hours later. I've got another camera, so hopefully you can see this. You see there's two hooks here. What you can do with that is, the Provoke Photography Bundle comes with these uh, straps and you can take them out and I hope you guys can see where this is going. Take them out. I think I'll put this back to the side for a while. Touch it to the back here and transform this tag bag into a sling or a fanny pack. So I used to bring a separate fanny pack for traveling because sometimes I don't want to bring a big backpack. Now I don't need to do that. I can just have one. And honestly, it looks not bad at all, right guys? Okay, let's get inside this fanny pack. So I've moved the strap so that it doesn't dangle and make any sound. Anyway, let's have a look around the tech bag first. You have handles here to make it easy to pull out from your backpack if there's like a lot of things. The front compartment has this very soft finish where you can put like sunglasses, your phones and whatnot. I keep it empty when I'm using it as a tech bag, but when I use it as a fanny pack, I put my phone, wallet, sunglasses, airports, a combination or one of those. Now to the main compartment. So as you can see, it is full of items and let's start with this striking red color thing. This is my <laughs> well-decorated Oki power bank, 10,000 milliamp, micro USB input, USB-C in and out to USB-A, perfect for what I use. We'll go, we'll go layer by layer, okay? On the right side here, I have my Mini 3 Pro extra propellers and the uh, screw needed for it. And on this left side, it's a bit hidden, I have this Makogo Apple Watch charger. Back them on Kickstarter and it's one of the best travel chargers out there. And just a simple USB drive that is USB-A on one side and USB-C on the other side. The center compartment, there's two big pockets. On this side, I have a 100 watt gun charger. This is from Ugreen and I absolutely love it because I'm using the new 14 inch MacBook now and I need those 100 watts. So this top USB-C port can do 100 watts. Charging my iPhone on it is extremely fast as well. Two more USB-C ports and a USB-A port. On the other side, I have some cables. This is a USB-C to lightning cable. Just some standard stuff, USB-C to USB-C cable. And this is what they call a cable card. I don't use it that often nowadays, but for traveling, real life savior. So inside here, it's a USB-C to USB-C cable. But the beauty is that they have adapters, so you can have any type of cable that you want. I use it for emergencies, but for traveling, like I said, it's good because you have the SIM ejector tool, um, two SIM card slots, a micro SD reader, a light, and it also functions as a wireless charger. The last item is inside this road pouch. If I'm not mistaken, it's a lav mic. Yep, it's just a lav mic with a 3.5mm to lightning adapter. You know, sometimes you just gotta record some voiceovers, so with this setup, I'm prepared to record voiceovers on my laptop, camera, or even iPhone. So that's it for the Wondered Tech Bag. 
I think I have everything I need to do whatever I want inside here. Laptop, camera, phone and whatnot. Maybe a travel travel adapter, but the travel adapter usually sits in my backpack because that one, I need it all the time with me. Anyway, speaking of the backpack, let's jump into that. So this is the Wonder Provoke 31 liter new edition. And before we look at the inside, let's have a quick look on the outside. I have the straps at the bottom here. It used to be crisscross along this way, but now because I want to reserve this space for the tech bag, when I want to use it in this position, so I leave this one open. These straps, really handy. I've put wet clothes at the back, um, some sweaters, but you can even tie it to the bottom here and put like a tripod, shoes, skateboard, whatnot. It's, it's just something that you will eventually find a great use for it. Oh, at the top here, I have this, what do you call this? It's a, it's a hero clip, one of the popular clips that helps you hang your bag from basically wherever you need to and I better be able to... Okay, <laughs> it would have been so funny if I couldn't open this on the video. Put it here and hang it mostly from anywhere. Toilet doors, if the hook is broken, picnic tables and whatnot. I've used it a couple times. It's it's pretty handy. Here, I, I, I'm not going to take it out. I just have some, some face masks. I rarely keep anything here, so just some face masks. On the right side, I have a tripod. This is the Manfrotto Pixu Max, if I'm not mistaken. And it's not my favorite uh, small form factor tripod, but it's the only one that can support my camera, the A7S III, the whole setup. I prefer the Pixu Mini, but that thing, the ball head is not strong enough to support that camera. So this is what I use. Don't use it that often. I usually vlog while holding the lens, but it's nice to have. If I don't have a tripod here, I'll have either a water bottle, water bottle, or a bigger, what do you call that? Peak design travel tripod. So yeah, this is really handy. On this side, we'll we'll take a we'll take a look at the quick access compartment later. At this place, you have stevia. There's a <laughs> microfiber cloth and some face facial oil blotters. Because when you're recording you really do not want to have any oily face. At the top here is where I put some quick access items. Wallet, Bellroy, um, and AirPods Pro. At the back compartment, is this the back or the front? The back, the front. On the side that faces your body, there is a secret compartment here but I don't keep anything much here because it's quite tight to access so I just put a few things like some uh, handy plus and more stevia there is a hook point here for a waist strap it comes with a bag I don't have it because it's a bit too bulky I prefer just using this uh, sternum strap it's really good and really easy one hand use I love it and these are hooks that you can put whatever you want, but I keep it simple with just an air tag here. Right, now let's have a look on the inside. The laptop of choice is a 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook. This one is a piece of a laptop for video editors. And as you can see, there is a nice D brand skin on it with a moth built-in laptop stand. So I'm always ready to edit anywhere. This tablet compartment, I don't really keep anything. I don't have a tablet anymore, but sometimes I keep more face masks or documents. This left pocket is usually for a lens filter. I have a variable ND on this lens, but it's just living on my on this cat on this lens for now so I don't take it out but if I have to take it out let's say I'm recording at night I'll put it here on this right side is my latest cable that just came last week as well I had I used to have like three cables inside here but now I can move my cable to the tech bag 
and just keep this one beautiful orange cable in my bag. It is from Basis, or is it Base US? We'll call it Basis. So it's basically a USB A or hands are a bit slippery. USB C. This goes to the power brick, and at the end, it's just three different types of connectors. And the USB C connector can go up to 100 watts. That is important for my MacBook. This side, I keep a straw. <laughs> Sharpie. This has come in handy so much because usually when we travel and buy a lot of stuff, this is what we use to write our box for shipping. Just a normal pen. And this is the multifunctional lens cleaner thingy majiggy that's not coming out for some reason. Whatever. And that is it for this side. So now I can leave this side hanging without anything dropping, I hope. So this is where I usually keep my tech bag. But in the event that it becomes full, like I want to put my neck pillow or headphones or something like that, I'll take it out and just slap it to the back. That is really the beauty of the Wonder ecosystem, especially for the Provoke and the tech bag. Keep this close. As you can see, my quick access slot is for my drone. Like everyone else, when I got this bag, I put my camera at the quick access slot. But the way I shoot videos is, you know, vlogging style. I always need my camera outside. And there's a big microphone on top of it, so there's no way that I'm gonna elegantly open and slide the the camera into the bag, I need to dismantle the microphone, slide the camera in, open the bag and still put the microphone somewhere. So recently, because we're going to Bali soon, I'm thinking how do I make this as efficient as I can? And the drone is the one that I actually need to take in and take out the, uh, the most often. So it makes sense to put it here so I can take this out together. By the way, this is the new DJI Mini 3 Pro with our C remote. Here, this compartment is where I keep my Sony A7S 3 and the mic actually sits on top here. This small compartment, this small awkward compartment is just where I put my, uh, what do you call this? Camera strap. This is just a simple light. I used to bring an Aperture MC, but this is smaller and much more well, space saving. I don't need such a big light most of the times and the low light capability of this camera is pretty good. Moving on, we have just your typical blower. I plan on getting an electronic one but it's so expensive. And this umbrella that I backed on Kickstarter if I'm not mistaken. Just a travel umbrella. I guess I'm opening it now. That is small and gets the job done. We've used it a couple times. What else do I have? Oh right, the side compartment here. I think you can see this little thing. Inside here, I just keep another SD card holder, which contains one extra SD card for my A7S3 and one extra micro SD for my drone. Backup, always keep extras. This one is empty. I'll keep the hot shoe cover here whenever I use the mic or when I don't use the mic, I'll put all the hot shoe covers here. And this is an extra battery for my A7S3. I think that is pretty much it for my Wanded Provo. So let's keep everything and I'll share some closing thoughts on why I really like this bag. Oh, what the hell was that sound? I felt like a demon was coming out of me. <laughs> So that's how I've packed my Wonder Provo to be the most effective all-in-one backpack for me to enable me to create good content wherever I am. Wow, that is an awesome one-liner. You should use that with my picture, Wonder. <laughs> anyway, why I like this bag is that, let me first start by saying this. I have never liked bags that had a roll top. I thought they were ugly and prior to this bag, I've just been using all those fixed size bags. The most prominent situation was when I was in Thailand, we were buying snacks from all the markets. The items couldn't fit my bag. 
but I brought hooks, so I hooked it all over my back. It was just crazy walking with things swinging around your back. From that point onwards, I was like, I'm gonna try getting a backpack that has a roll top that can expand. I went through researching so many bags, you know, especially the most prominent one is the Peak Design. But the reason I chose this bag is that this is more of an all-in-one travel backpack. The Peak Design is a slightly more camera focused backpack in my opinion and honestly guys come on this bag looks so good with this handle i've carried this like this a lot of times and it it feels great if you're on the fence about getting this bag let me save you the trouble i've done all the research and this is a great backpack you have lifetime warranty and the wonder support team are amazing people in fact the whole company is amazing they're just a family-owned business really small family-owned business but they've got really really big ambitions and their motto of wonder more worry less i really feel it i really feel it with this bag because i can put everything in and you know just throw it to the side i deeply regret that but just to show you that with this bag keep my stuff get on the plane get on the train get in the car travel and just wonder more and worry less so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've always loved looking at how people pack their bags and this is my first time doing this. Hopefully it's entertaining and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, let me know and I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!